Well, a lot of national interest as well in this race, of course, because of Jeff Sessions being the U.S. Attorney General, a very high profile, the whole situation with President Trump, and then you got Roy Moore in there, and that was a closely watched election in 2017. So a lot of national eyes on this race as well. And Our money. And a lot, a lot of, of money, money on the, a on lot of national money and a lot of national money standing by for Doug Jones for uh, that race in November against the winner. Our Blake Brown is covering the uh, Jeff Sessions campaign tonight. He joins us live from downtown Mobile. Hi, Blake. Hey, good evening, Peter. Yeah, uh, polls closed just about five, six minutes ago, and we are here now at Sessions Camp in downtown Mobile. Take a live look behind us. Not a whole lot going on just yet, but this room will be packed later. Doors are going to open here in about 25 minutes tonight at 730. Like you said, Jeff Sessions says he is ready to take back his seat in the U.S. Senate. He knows this is a close race amongst his opponents. The former U.S. Attorney General has a lot of name recognition, and so does Tommy Tuberville. Bradley Byrne, of course, a big name in our area. He is no stranger to Alabama politics. Jeff Sessions saying this morning he hopes his years of experience pay off. We will find out tonight, and we will be bringing you live coverage from the Riverview Hotel in downtown Mobile. Continuous coverage here on WKRG.com as well as on air later on tonight. But again, a quiet scene here right now, hopefully expecting that to change in just about 25 minutes, 25 more minutes or so. Back to you.